Istanbul is a city of some 18 million people spread across two continents, an Asian side and a European side. Right down the middle, the Bosporus Strait connecting the Sea of Marmara to the south and the Black Sea to the north. Now, food-wise, a lot of regional influences here, Syria, Lebanon, and the former Soviet republics like Georgia and Turkmenistan, but also more obvious ones like Greek, Armenian, and Kurdish cultures. Now, whenever I travel to a new city, I always think the best eating is in the neighborhoods, which is why I recently took a culinary backstreets tour into one specific neighborhood that's about 20 minutes north of the main tourist area. The name is Kurtulush. Uh, it used to be uh, a Greek Orthodox neighborhood. Today, the majority is Muslim, but secular Muslims. So there's not one single standard breakfast in, in Turkey. It's more an array of different regional breakfasts. So in Istanbul you get simit. Simit is essential to the breakfast table, but it's really, it's a thing on its own actually, because it's a snack on its own. You eat a, just a simit and you could have your breakfast, a glass of tea and simit only. But when it comes to breakfast, we have the, a, a great spread of vegetables, you know, olives and herbs lots of cheeses, different egg dishes. So when it all comes together, you have this beautiful, colorful table filled with little plates, the kaimak, you know, the clotted cream with the, of course, the beautiful honey. Hanket takes me to a place where they serve a traditional farmer's breakfast from a city in Eastern Turkey. Erzincan. So this is more like a regional and farmer's breakfast. And so they have this traditional tanduri, tanduri oven. And uh, you eat that usually with honey and with this goat cheese called tulum. In this neighborhood, there is uh, eating fish is quite uh, traditional. We went to a, a local donor chef. Uh, in this case, they used uh, beef, mostly beef, with a little bit of lamb. Then to a small room where a handful of ustas, or masters, peeled thousands of artichokes each day. It has become a sort of a tradition in the neighborhood. There are like four or five small workshops where they peel the artichokes. Uh, in Istanbul, we don't eat the leaf of the artichoke. We only uh, eat the heart. On the back of a deli, where one man stuffs grape leaves all morning. So dolma, uh, in Turkey, we say we can stuff everything, every type of vegetable, every type of fruit. So stuffing is an important part of the culture. And so we saw there uh, a master in a deli shop preparing the sarmas. We don't say dolma because uh, we say sarmas. It's a very popular place because uh, some people, they like to have meze, uh, starters, or, or something like Turkish tapas. After nearly six hours of roaming the neighborhood, Hanket admits not everyone has enough room to finish the tour. Sometimes we have to stop before the end because they say we don't take, we cannot uh, eat anymore. And more information about all their tours and all their cities at culinarybackstreets.com. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm Steve Delinsky. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.